Hello, I'm Andre from ECC's business development team. In this video, we'll introduce you to Zcash Light Clients and how they operate. We'll look at the Light Client libraries and a few example applications. We'll also cover best practices for developing Zcash Shielded First apps. A Light Client references a trusted full nodes copy of the blockchain. Development of Zcash apps previously required downloading an entire copy of the blockchain. Unlike full nodes, Light clients require less resources and are better suited for mobile development. These libraries abstract away receiving, validating, and extracting information from the Zcash network, so the focus can be on building a Zcash application. There are six related libraries, LightWallet D, written in Go, the Android SDK, written in Kotlin, iOS SDK, written in Swift, Libra Zcash, written in Rust, Android Wallet, written in Kotlin, and the iOS Wallet written in Swift. A light node can point to an instance of a LightWallet D to use its services. Running LightWallet D requires running Zcash D on the same device. The main thing that LightWallet D does is to make the data transfer more efficient by downloading blockchain information from Zcash D. To do this, it downloads blocks from Zcash D, removes information not required by light nodes such as headers that are required to validate a block, and caches the compact mobile-friendly format blocks to serve like clients. There are Android and iOS SDKs with accompanying demo apps. Here, we're showing the iOS SDK as an example. The functionalities provided by the SDK shown in the demo app menu are get address, get block height, sync blocks, get balance, send funds, and transaction handling. To make it easy to see the code and interact with the code, we provide a demo app that exercises the code. In the demo app, clicking on it runs the code associated with that functionality. Every section of the demo app has a folder with the same name in the Project Explorer of the IDE. For instance, if you want to see the code for the sync block demo, you can go see the code for that in the sync blocks folder. We've also open sourced code for a shielded first, fully functional Zcash wallet. It makes use of our SDKs, so we are constantly dogfooding the resources that we're providing for the community. We see this as a living example that embodies our UX best practices. Look here for some inspiration. Ready to get started building a shielded Zcash application? Refer to the documentation, especially the light client resources, Fork from the official GitHub repos for updates and bug fixes. Reach out to the ECC team if you have feedback, ideas, or requests for help. We look forward to seeing what you build.